Totoo ba talaga na may copy-paste jobs? Yes, meron talaga guys na copy-paste job kung saan, yun ang gagawin mo, magka-copy ka ng data and ipipaste mo. Karamihan kasi sa mga business, marami silang data or information na pinaprocess. And they usually need help from someone to arrange or organize them sa way na mas madali silang makita, mas madali silang matandaan. Or yung iba naman, kailangan nila nang magre-research for them to gather information para sa product nila or para sa store nila. So, ilan lang yan guys sa ginagawa ng isang data encoder. And ayan yung pag-uusapan natin today. So, please watch guys hanggang sa dulo ng ating video para wala kayong ma-miss. And para malaman nyo kung ano nga ba tong trabaho na to, ano yung mga requirements, ano yung ginagawa, magkano yung pwedeng swelduhin, ano yung magaganda or hindi maganda sa pagiging isang data encoder, and syempre kung saan kayo pwedeng mag-apply. Hello everyone! My name is Mimi and welcome to my home base story kung saan lagi tayo nagsishare ng mga bagong videos regarding work from home. Kaya naman kung bago kayo sa ating channel, please consider subscribing. So, marami sa inyo ang nagre-request na Mimi, gawa ka naman ng about sa data entry. So, ito na guys yung iniintay nyo. Actually, marami na ako na-share na data entry site sa ating channel. Hindi ko lang talaga sila pinag as data entry kasi syempre may kanya-kanya rin namang kategory ang mga yan. Pero, ano nga ba yung data entry or data data encoding. So, simply put, based dun sa word na nga na data entry is, magkakolek ka ng data and i-enter mo siya sa isang system or isang software or app sa iyong computer na in a way na mas organized siya. Ang usual na input dito is mga sales invoice, mga resibo, mga different kinds of product, mga links, mga different kinds of research. So, napakaraming klase ng pwedeng data na pwedeng ipaprocess sa inyo. Like for me, sa real estate, ang isa kong ginagawa sa pagda-data entry is yung business cards. Si client ko, whenever he goes out and meets people, meron siya mga nakukuha business cards. So, papadala niya sa akin yung mga images ng business cards na yon and i-enter ko yun sa system. Like yung name nila, yung email address, yung phone, etc. Yun guys, yung work ng isang data entry. So, kukunin mo yung text or image or sometimes video and sound or audio file and i-convert mo siya sa isang readable data format. So, napakarami guys ng different kinds or categories ng data entry or data encodings. Yung iba dyan, magta-type ka. Yung iba, magko-code ka. Yung iba, i-enter mo lang yung info or itatali. Siyempre, kapag may experience ka, mas mataas yung pwede mong kitain dito. So, pag-uusapan din natin yan later. One thing about data entry na kailangan yung malaman is marami ang may gusto na magkaroon ng isang data entry na job. But, konti lang. Yung talagang pure na data entry job lang yung hinahanap nila na worker. Ayan, kasi ang mga client ngayon, guys, ma-share ko lang din sa inyo, hinahanap nila yung mga employees na versatile. So, meaning, marami kayong kayang gawin. I just want to set your expectation na yung pure data entry, guys, sobrang limited lang, iniilan lang talaga yung makikita nyo na yun lang mismo yung gagawin nyo. And dahil nga, guys, napakarami nang naghahanap ng trabaho na hindi naman makahanap kasi nga konti lang yung available na jobs for data entry. Dumarami rin yung mga nasa scam na tao na gustong mag-work as a data encoders. Kaya guys, ginawa ko yung ating video about how to spot fake jobs. And gumawa ko ng separate video for that. Kung halimbawa, hindi kayo sure kung scam nga ba or fake ang isang job, sana ma-check nyo yung ating video na yon. So, tara na dun sa requirements. Ano nga ba yung mga kailangan kung ito yung magiging job na papasukan ninyo? Hindi nyo kailangan ng experience, hindi nyo kailangan ng educational attainment. As long as kaya yung gumamit ng computer, kaya yung gumamit ng Microsoft Word or Excel or Google Sheets and Google Docs, okay na siya. Hindi rin kailangan na mabilis kayong mag-type dito, no? As long as kaya yung intindihin yung data sa harap ninyo. So, kailangan meron kayong organizational skills, attention to details. Siyempre, part na din doon, kailangan marunong kayo sa English because unless dito ka mismo sa Pilipinas mag apply most clients would be handing over English document sa inyo. And kailangan nyo rin yan minsang intindihin. So, talagang hindi lang siya basta copy-paste. Pagdating naman sa equipment, syempre, kailangan nyo ng internet. Hindi lang online job ito, no? Pwede nyo siyang gawin offline. Some clients allow that. Pero, yung data na kukunin nyo, syempre, online pa rin. Kaya, kailangan nyo pa rin ng internet. So, guys, hindi to pwede sa phone. Kailangan nyo talaga ng laptop.
laptop or ng desktop para ma-arrange nyo yung inyong mga files or data na ibibigay sa inyo ni client. Marami kasi yan. And ewan ko, sa phone kasi, although accessible si Google Docs and si Google Sheets, mahirap siya. Trinay ko na. Mahirap mag-arrange ng documents and maglipat-lipat, mag-copy-paste sa phone. Ayun lang naman yung kailangan nyo. Wala kayong any other special equipment na kailangan. Okay. So, siguro nang tatanong kayo, magkano ba yung pwedeng kitain dito sa data entry? Since si data entry naman, guys, ay hindi nagre-require ng napaka-komplikadong work and hindi rin napakataas yung standard niya for experience or education. Hindi tayo pwedeng mag-expect ng mataas na salary. The usual range ng salary ng isang data encoder based sa mga shinare ng mga employees na nag-work as a data encoder doon sa website na glassdoor.com. The range is between 6,000 to 11,000 per month. So, kung hihimayin mo yon kasi syempre, data encoder naman hindi parating regular work kasi nauubos din yung data na i-encode, diba? Ang per hour rate is pumapatak ng 40 pesos to 50 pesos per hour. So, based yan guys sa mga shinair na sweldo ng no, mga nag-work remotely and also in the office. So, guys, bago ko i-share sa inyo kung saan kayo pwedeng mag-apply, pag-usapan muna natin yung pros and cons. Ano ba yung mga gagandang bagay sa pagiging isang data encoder? Una, madali lang yung work. Wala kang masyadong mental stress, kumbaga. Kasi ang gagawin mo lang talaga dito is yung magta-type ka. Number two, most people can do this. Hindi ka ilangan, guys, ng experience sa data encoding. No? Kasi magta-type ka, magka-copy-paste ka, and that's it. Siguro, minsan niya arrange mo yung data, check mo kung tama siya, pero ayun na talaga siya. Hindi mo kailangan ng experience or any type of certification for this. And number three, most data entry jobs, guys, are freelance. Meaning, pwede kayong pumili ng schedule nyo. Hindi kayo nakatali doon sa schedule ng kliyente or ng business niya. So, pwede mo siyang gawin kahit hindi sila operating or hindi nila business hours. Um, ano naman yung mga cons or yung mga hindi natin masyado gusto about data encoding? Sa data encoding, guys, hindi tayo pwedeng mag-expect ng malaking sweldo because the job is really just that, data encoding. And job is not regular. So, bihira yung regular kasi, guys, sabi ko nga kanina, nauubos din yung data. Eventually, yung i-encode yun na data, it will run out, it will be finished, and hindi parating may fresh wave of data na kailangan yung i-encode. Yung regularity ng job, hindi siya laging assured. Pero other than that, guys, ayun na yon. ayun nga, kagaya ng unang sabi ko, may freedom kayo about sa schedule, and yun nga, madali yung trabaho, yun talaga yung bottom line, and yun yung reason din kung bakit maraming may gusto sa job na to. Kaya naman, guys, here are the websites kung saan kayo pwedeng mag-apply as a data encoder. Okay, so some of these websites is na share ko na sa ating channel. I-share ko na lang yung link sa ating Facebook page and sa Instagram. So, sana ma-follow nyo din yung ating mga pages doon. Number one is remote task. Si remote task, marami silang different kind of task. Ang maganda dyan sa remote task, may training din sila, no? Bahat data encoder kasi, ang gagawin nyo lang talaga, guys, doon, especially doon sa annotation, is itatag nyo yung different kinds of vehicle. As a bonus, kung ka-earn kayo ng $10 in your first week, then you will also get additional $5 bonus from me as your referrer. Next one is Superhands. Na-share ko na din to, guys. Si Superhands, meron sila yung, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's data tagging kung saan bibigyan nila kayo ng spreadsheet and i-enter nyo dun yung mga different kinds of product and yung category nila. So, may different kinds of levels yon and they also provide assessments and trainings for that. Another one is Microworkers. I also featured Microworkers. Si Microworkers, same lang din siya ni Remote Task and Superhands kung saan tinitrain nila yung mga AI technology para magbasa ng different kinds of data. Your job as a microworker is to enter those data para mapag-aralan sila nung artificial intelligence. By the way, guys, si Remote Task, through PayPal yung bayad nila. It's weekly, walang minimum. Si Superhands naman, bank transfer yung kanilang payout. And then for microworkers, it's also through PayPal. And meron silang minimum na $10 payout bago kayo makapag-cash out. Next is Clickworker. Clickworker is one of the website as well na na-feature ko. Marami nagka-problema dito kasi marami ang walang fully verified PayPal. So, bago kayo mag-apply sa Clickworker, make sure that your PayPal is fully verified. Pag sinabi natin fully verified, kailangan may nakalink na bank account and may nakalink na credit card account. And if may problem kayo with linking your PayPal account, you can always check with their support team. Si Clickworker naman, data entry din to in a way na ang gagawin mo lang is magsasagot ka ng mga surveys 
then yung iba naman mag-send ka ng mga photo. I-encode mo lang yung photo. Like halimbawa, um, take a picture of yourself pressing a doorbell. Enter mo lang yung photo. So, ayan si Clickworker. And good thing about Clickworker is they pay you in euros. And the minimum payout is 5 euros is send na nila sa PayPal mo. Next is Kendall Creek Communications. Yan yung link nila. Si Kendall Creek Communications, guys, they're more focused on legal transcription. Sometimes you will also do copy-paste and data collection for different kinds of trials, hearings. Kasi yung kind ng file types na pwede nyong ma-encounter. Next is Capital Typing. So, si Capital Typing, yan yung link nila. Your clients will be universities and businesses that needs data filing, typing, and other related jobs. Si Capital Typing, hindi siya parating may opening. So, check nyo na lang. When I check, meron silang transcription and the other one is encoder. Siyempre, alam nyo naman sa online job, mabilis masnatch ang mga trabaho. Ganun na talaga ang new normal natin kasi marami ang nag-work from homes. I-check nyo na lang din guys and silip-silipin nyo na din kung merong available. Next is Dion Data Solutions. Dion ba or Dion? <laughs> si Dion Data Solutions.net. Sorry, but this is only for US. So for our US viewers, you can go to Dion Data Solutions and check if they have openings for data entry. Next is Amazon MTurk. Ito matagal na to guys, and siguro na kikita-kita nyo na din to sa mga compilation ng mga data entry websites. But for a little bit kasi, nawala si MTurk. Kinose nila yung doors nila sa Philippines. Pero, nung chineko sila, kanina lang. Today's Thursday morning ng madaling araw. So, meron. Available siya sa Philippines. So, kailangan mong gumawa ng Amazon account to view the jobs. Some of them are location-based. So, parang marketplace din kasi si MTurk, guys. Uh, tatlo yung available sa kanila. Data validation, content moderation, and online surveys. Now, yung next na babanggitin ko, guys, are marketplaces. So, pag sinabi kong marketplace, ibig sabihin, hindi lang data entry yung available dito sa mga website na to. Napakaraming online jobs. So, plus to sa inyo, kung naghahanap kayo ng hindi lang data encoding. So, number one is Indeed. phindeed.com slash jobs. Ito yung una kong binanggit kasi specific siya for Philippines. So, yung mga pagtatrabahuhan nyo are offices here in the Philippines or looking for help with their data encoding. Nang hindi na natin kailangan lumayo at maghanap ng international clients, dito mismo sa Pilipinas, meron ding mga nag-hire ng remote Worker. So, next natin is workmarket.com. Si workmarket, guys, na feature ko na to dun sa ating search engine evaluator job. Kasi, bukod sa search engine evaluator job, meron din sila mga data entry job. So, kasama na dyan transcribing, encoding, content writing. So, different kinds of data entry or data encoding jobs na pwede nyong pagpilian. And ang maganda dito kay Work Market is hindi lang siya isang company or isang portal yung feature nila. Marami kayong pwedeng pagpilian. Next is Online Jobs PH. When I searched earlier, I saw two openings for data encoders. Ang gagawin nyo lang naman is punta kayo sa job search and then i-type nyo doon kung ano yung job na hinahanap nyo. And it will provide you with the result. And then next is Appen. Appen.com slash job. So si Appen and madalas ko siya ma-mention, no? Marami rin silang openings talaga, eh. Hindi lang yung pag-re-rate, hindi lang yung pag-annotate, hindi lang yung pag-transcribe. Meron din silang data encoder position. And then, syempre, yung three other big marketplaces that you can check data encoding na parating meron is um, freelancer.com, fiber.com, and upwork.com. Now, guys, although lahat ng websites na binigay ko sa inyo today are legit, and alam nyo naman, nagre-research ako bago ako gumawa ng video. But, of course, syempre, may pa ilan ilang clients, lalo na sa mga marketplaces, na ang layunin nila is to, yun nga, mga scam. Okay, sadly, talagang marami. Maraming scammers sa earth. Again, para protektahan yung sarili nyo, I did a video of the checklist that I personally use to check kung scam ba or not. And so guys, those are the different websites I shared with you together with seven different work marketplaces that you can check. Pandagdag yan kung saan kayo pwede mag- apply at mag-check ng job. Sana, alam niyo yun, ang wish ko talaga is sana makahanap na kayo ng job ninyo. And para naman doon sa mga nakahanap, sana mag-prosper pa kayo sa work from home. And sana mas maging successful pa ang inyong work at home story, di ba? And, and I love to hear it. Sana ma-share niyo yan sa ating group. We have a Facebook group, The Online Freelancer Squad. Doon ako nagpo-post ng mga free trainings and mga jobs na nakikita ko when I'm browsing online. And syempre yung mga uh, members 
first din natin is nagpo-post and nag-share ng mga jobs online. I think that's it guys for data encoder. Again, um, this is a job na I think most of you want, pero hindi kasi ganun karami yung opening. My recommendation is marami pa namang ibang pwedeng pag-applyan, hindi lang data encoder. So, kung mahihain kayo, hindi nyo bet magsalita. You can also apply to be a transcriber, a captioner. Pwede rin kayo mag-apply sa annotation and sa bookkeeping. So, those are some of the keywords that you can use kapag maghahanap kayo ng trabaho. Pero again, ang tip ko sa inyo guys, you don't really want to settle for, you know, data encoder is really good. Lalo na kapag nako, nakaland kayo. Swerte nyo guys. <laughs> But again, you don't wanna be stuck in just being a data encoder forever. It's a great stepping stone. Pero again, you want to be more versatile, add more skills to yourself, always invest in yourself. Na, kahit naman ako hanggang ngayon, nag I still study, nag-aaral pa rin ako kung paano ko mas ma- papagbuti or mas mapapaunlad wow yung mga skills ko so sana kayo din and with that guys i'm really gonna say bye for now and thank you for watching hope to see you again next week for our next video bye